Okay, this is a line art tutorial. People always ask me about my line art because they look so smooth, but I just wanted to say first of all that I don't think having a smooth line art makes it a better line art. In fact, I think I'm overly concerned with making the line art smooth, and I don't think that's a good thing. But anyway, let's start. I'll start with talking about the tools I use. Um, for the line art, I usually use either the brush or pencil tool, but you can use whatever you feel most comfortable with. I usually use the pencil tool for when I want a sharper line art or when I'm working at a lower resolution. And for the brush tool, I usually use that when I want a softer line art or I am working at a higher resolution. The size of the brush I use depends on the resolution, but usually it's between 5 to 12 points. Uh, it sometimes goes as large as 16 to 20 though. There are a couple ways to make a smooth looking line art. You can either work at a very high resolution, such as over 3,500 pixels. When it's resized down, it'll look smoother. Or you can work on the way you control your stroke, and that can make the line smoother. There are a couple ways to draw lines that will make them look smoother. The first way is you need to draw strokes fast. If you draw them slowly, they'll look more wobbly. Here's an example of a stroke done slowly and then the same stroke done quickly. As you can see, the stroke that was done slowly looks more wobbly than the stroke that was done quickly. The other way to make lines smooth is that you can use the stabilizer in Psy. I think in other translations it's called the smoother smoothing. I'm not sure. Anyway, the stabilizer reduces position jitter that can be caused by electronical interference and corrects the line to a degree. Depending on the line, I'll turn the stabilizer up to S3 or S7. I usually use the higher one for long straight lines like for the lines of the hair. Here's an example of a stroke done normally and then a stroke done with the stabilizer. The one done with the stabilizer looks a lot more smooth than the one done normally. Uh, it takes a while to get used to the stabilizer, but I feel like it gives you somewhat more control over the line. I think overall a mix of both ways can be good. Sometimes I use the stabilizer to draw the main part of the, li the line and then use the other way to connect the lines. So you can try out various ways and see what you like best. Okay, now that that's all been explained, Here's the recording of the line art process. The canvas is 3000 by 3000 and I used the pencil tool to draw it. Um, people also asked 
how to weight the lines for the line art. There are actually multiple ways of doing that. My personal way of doing that is I make thicker lines for thicker, heavier materials and thinner lines for thinner materials. Like the hair is made up of many thin strands, so I typically do the line art for the hair in a thinner line and then for more solid things like flesh I'll typically make the line thicker for that but there are many other ways of doing that you can make the line thicker by how dark it is like if the lights coming from the left hand of the screen then you can make the lines on the right side thicker because that would be where the shadows are or you can do it in perspective like whatever is closest to the viewer has a thicker line and what is farthest away has a thinner line you can also do it where lines that overlap where the weight is overlapping have those be thicker than where it's not overlapping there are a lot of ways to do this and just do whatever you like best I guess there's no really no best way it just all depends on what you want to convey with your line art and what it's being used for and that's about it. Thank you. Oh,